First we're going to need about three to four foot of your rig body, whatever you're going to use. Just snip that off. That one side. Then on one end of that, just going to tie, tie this part on, which I tried and tackle, it's called a link clip or something, just four turns around, back through the hole, moist than that. And just give it a tie and I can use the lead for that so I'll just use the clip on there to tip that over and then pull down tight you should get no burn on that line snip the tag end off you should end up something like that And onto the end of that, sorry, onto the other end. You don't have to do this, but I always like to just slide a knot protector over. So you use the fat end first, slide it all the way down. And that will just sit over there with just a, at the end I'll put just a little dab of glue. And that will just sit over the knot. And obviously with a dab of glue it'll stop it any chance of them not slipping as well so it just keeps it a little bit safer on that end so the next thing we want to do is you want a couple of uh, sorry a, a crimp so just slide your first crimp on the rig body slide that right down to the bottom then you want one of your five mil beads Slide that one on. Next, one of your swivels. And another five mil bead. And then finally, the bottom part is another crimp.
slow it down in place. And you can go ahead and crimp them up. Something like that. So onto onto this clip here. I think it's called a thermalink. Actually, I'm not quite sure. You can put your roto clip on. Remember how to do it. Yeah. So that goes on. that in there <coughs> and then your lead link can go on there for you clip that on when you're fishing I just leave it on anyway so you got that and then up the other end we're gonna need Another crimp. Always find these quite fiddly to put on. Then you're going to need your spring. Followed by your little up and over clip for again from Trident Tackle. You don't have to use these ones, there are other ones on, on the market just as good. But I've still got a load of these Trident Tackle clips and bits and bobs so I'm just going to use some on this rig. So when that's on, all that's left to do on the rig body is slide on a knot protector first, a way up, narrow end first. Again, that's optional. You don't have to do that, a lot of people don't, but I just like to. And then finally, onto that, your second swivel. Again, the same knot. Actually, I'll show you a different knot. I think this is uni knot. So pull the end through, make a loop, back around, and you want to come three or four times through the loop. I always start buying three times is plenty, most people do four, but I've never had one slip. So pull it up, again wet the line. And then put it all down tight. Again, just put that swivel eye into the lead. Put it nice and tight. Let's see, it's not slipping at all. It really grips quite tight. And then snip the tag end. Always fine with that knot. You can leave a lot, a little bit longer tag end because obviously it's not sticking out. It's going back up the line, so it doesn't interfere as much. So that then will be glued over that eye. You've only got the one eye sticking out. Again, that's just extra protection that I like to have. So that's the rig body finished. So you've got swivel, optional knot protector, then right down, actually, 
you've got your up and over clip spring and uncrimped crimp and then you've got crimped crimp bead swivel bead crimp again that will be glued not protector and whatever bait clip you're using I'm not going to clip that down yet until after we've tied the wishbone part of the rig on and got the lengths then I'll show you why when I've done the next bit okay so next step to this swivel here we're going to tie the length of I'm using amnesia but whatever line you like to use this is I think this is 15 16 pounds breaking strain 15 pounds sunset amnesia whatever snood you like to use you can use so again through the eye whatever not you not you feel comfortable use just use that Always fine with, with amnesia line. Unlike other knots, don't wet it. It seems to have the opposite effect. If you don't wet it, put it slowly down tight. You get a nice tight knot. And again, no line burn. If you wet it, I don't know what it does, but it, it seems to, as you're putting a knot down, it starts to grip. It's a complete opposite effect. Again, just snip tag end off. Right for your length of snood, you run it right up between your fingers, right up the top of the rig. If you run it the full length till you meet the top of the rig, and then come back down again, just below halfway or even halfway down the rig. So it's length and a half of the rig body is where you want to snip. That off. So, to that end of that, and we're gonna tie is whatever pulley bead you want to use. So I'm, this one, I could use a Gemini, but they're, they're a bit narrower and I want the, this is the wishbone part will come through here. So I want it to sort of kick out each side, just to give it that bit extra distance between the two. So tie that on. tag end. That's that part finished. Now to the business end of the rig. The hook snoods. Now for this one, take the end of your amnesia or whatever you're using. So what I do to get the right length of the hook snoods is just measure one full length of the rig body up against the one full length of your hook snoods and snip it there because we went one and a half the length before and if we do one full length of these hook snoods which will be halved again it will make the length enough to come back down to clip off and leave it all tight When you snip that one off, the best way of doing this I find is to start by tying a hook to one end. So 
just tie that off. snip the tag end. And then onto the other, other end of them hook snoods. We want to slide some beads. So uh, green and black seem to be the most popular choice for place. So we'll just alternate some green and blacks. Something to do with the pea mussels, they pea mussel beds they feed off. And they've got like iridescent greens and blacks. So we're trying to mimic that. I mean plates are really inquisitive, so any sort of colour, any sort of glowing colour or movement in the water, they'll come over and investigate. So slide on some green and black beads. So you got that. I'll stick one more green bead on there. And then you just want a small length of rig tubing. Just cut off. Just four or five mil. Just four or five mil of that. Slide that on. And then just make a loop. Go back through the way you went in the first time but without knotting it. So you're not making a knot, it's just it's just going back through again and then put it tight and then that will turn them in itself create a stop knot pull that right down to the hook end and you should have that so that's one side of the drop down place wishbone rig done on that now you want to go through the pulley bead the other end And then do the same on that end. Same as that end on this end. Obviously starting with the stop knot beads, then hook. I tied that uni knot, the tag end comes out the same way the main line went in. So when you thread your worms up, it sort of acts as like a little stop, sort of stabs against that so it can't go back down again. That's quite handy. And of course there's no resistance going this way, so threading it up is easy and it helps stop the worm coming back down the hook. So this is going to be running. Um, wishbone part so I'm not going to you got your two hooks and your beads 
the other stock knot I'll pull that down actually tidy it up a bit so you've got your two hooks for your beads and it goes down to a pulley I'm not gonna I could put crimps and um, small beads on that in there just to keep them in place but I find that if you leave it like that and a fish comes along he can move away a bit he can take it and then when he gets to a certain point he's going to feel some resistance so he's got a little bit of run and he can feel a little bit of resistance and that should help self hook himself so I'm going to leave that running that view right the final thing to do for this rig is to uh, <clears throat> sorry is to crimp the um, trident hangover clip into place which is further up the rig body and the way you do that is to clip your hooks up as you would when they're baited up and ready to go out so when they're clipped up you need to run everything up the rig body keeping everything nice and taut and straight probably easiest to do this on a um, tripod so I'm just going to when you get the loop of your um, snood line that will just clip over into there and you just put it all tight and that's where you've run it straight up the rig body you need to crimp that in place with just a little bit of tension under the spring so I'll do that now I do it on my um, tripod it's easier to get everything straight so clip away on the end and then uh, hang it on your tripod and clip that to make sure it's all clipped in position so I'll just do that and I'll come back okay so that's the rig all clipped up so I've got a luminous, a luminous weight on the bottom. The idea of this rig is that it rolls, rolls around a bit and there's a bit of movement because plates are really in, inquisitive fish and they'll chase any sort of movement or colors like I said. So it's really a good rig to use. So the idea is that it will unclip. Sorry, I'll just show you the full, full rig first. So, that's the bottom of the rig, going up to the beads. I might even ch uh, chuck a couple of sea glow attractors on the end there as well, just for extra attraction. It's got big 8mm beads on the bottom for attraction. And it goes up to the pulley bead. So that's a running wishbone, so it can run either side. And then it goes up again to Trident hangover clip. Get that on focus. So yeah, that's Trident hangover clip. So it clips up and over that, and then it goes up to the top of the rig. So when it releases, that whole snood length hangs down below the lead, and that just flows in the tide, or whatever tide there might be. A little bit of tide, a little bit of movement, and then. You've got your two baits fishing at the bottom and hopefully they're ready to be rolling about creating a bit of movement as well and you can always just every now and again just drag it in a meter or so just to give it a bit of movement again and yeah so if a fish takes one end it will just pull until it meets resistance and then it will hopefully help hook himself. That's the rig completed. So all that's left for me to do now is to um, stick it on a rig wind. Just get a spare one out. I don't think I've got one labelled up for that so I'll lay the 
up later. So just unclip, lead off the row clip. Get that back on. when I'm uh, putting a rig on the rig winder you well, say always usually start with the hooks first get them out of the way just get the hooks in a bit trickier with the uh, big beads should be alright it all the way down. To that end, and keep winding, and then just use one of the pins. Finished. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for you, those of, uh, of you that have subscribed already. And if you wouldn't mind just leaving a like and subscribe if you found that video useful. Uh, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.